In this video, we're going to look into how to get embeddings using a DeepSeq Owl model using VLM. Now, this embedding extraction can be applied to any of these DeepSeq models that you guys see over here. But in this case, we are going to be using a Llama 8 billion R1 distilled version. Now, you might be asking, what can you do with embeddings? Well, a few different things. As you guys know, 80% of machine learning data science is really about classification and regression. Now, of course, it's a bit changing right now. Now we get into more into generative AI. Now, because DeepSeq has been a very, very good model, it would be interesting to see how we can get the embeddings to either change the architecture, build a different type of architecture, or maybe potentially get the embeddings to do classification. That could be an interesting experiment. So first things first, you will require a Google Colab instance. Over here, I have an A100 GPU, and now, We've installed VLLM, Torch, Transformers, and Accelerate. After that, you have to define the prompts you want to use. Over here, we're going to use a batch prompts with different strings over here as an example. And then we can write from VLLM, import LLM. And now we have to first load the model, and we do that by writing model equals to LLM, and then write model equals to DeepSeq. Well, actually, you can just copy the name of the model over here, copy that paste it in, and then we're gonna write task equals to embed because we want to use this model for embeddings and then enforce eager true. After that, all we really have to do is pass in the prompts that we defined over here to get the output. Now this can actually take a few minutes, so please be patient. Now the model has outputted the embeddings that we want and to be able to see each of the prompts with their corresponding outputs, we can write a nice for loop and there we can see the prompt and the embeddings, but we're gonna make it a bit more nicer. We're gonna get the embeddings, embeddings trimmed, and then we're going to nicely print out the prompt and then the embeddings are in size. And there we go. We have the prompts and their corresponding embeddings with their sizes, of course. All right, guys, I hope you found this video insightful. If you guys did, please feel free to subscribe. I make similar videos like these. All right, guys, I hope to see you in my next video. Have a nice day.